American whiskey, especially bourbon, has been enjoying a renewed renaissance in the last few years. But have you read some of these reviews? I mean, hints of tobacco and leather mixed with stone fruit? Or a dry finish with chewability to the caramel toffee and oak? Really? Now I'm trying out a lot of these whiskeys, many for the first time, and letting you know what I think of them in plain English. These are whiskey reviews for the rest of us, all from the comfort of my whiskey den. Hey everyone, it's David coming to you from my whiskey den here in Ohio. And I want to talk about, and we're going to try, well I've had it already. I've actually gone through a couple of bottles of this since May. JTS Brown, bottled in bond 100 proof. And <laughs> tell you a little, little bit about my experience with whiskey, um, especially the bourbons. Let's get this better in the picture. So until we moved to Ohio, and actually until our first trip to Kentucky a few years ago, you know. My go-to, and I think still deep down my go-to bourbon is Maker's Mark. But in my first video on the channel, kind of gave you a little history of, of my whiskey life. And, I mean, Jack, Jim, a few others, Evan Williams, <clears throat> Bullet, um, what else? I mean, there's a few, few whiskeys I've really enjoyed over the years rebel yell but when it really hit home back this past May when my wife and I took our first post vaccinated I don't want to say post pandemic because we're still in a pandemic technically but after we got vaccinated we went down to Kentucky and we went to a, a little liquor store in Maysville Kentucky by the way across the street from this liquor store is a place a restaurant called Buck's Grill outstanding barbecue um, we hit it there and this is not a paid advertisement none of my videos are but man if you are in Maysville which is a sleepy little town right across the Ohio border in Kentucky support this business it's really good a really good little restaurant anywho went to the slicker store and saw the JTS Brown bottled in bond and look at that label this is the reason why I bought this whiskey look at that label it's so old-timey and I figured you know bottled in bond hundred and hundred proof and made by Heaven Hill, so it's, you know, I think I paid 15 bucks for it, and I was really surprised, and this really turned me on to budget brands. Now here in Ohio, I do see the one liter, I think it's in the, I don't even know, I haven't even touched the bottle, it looks like it's a plastic bottle, it could be glass, which, by the way, don't ever buy your liquor in a plastic bottle. All right, it's kind of cheap, but this stuff, I really like it. I mean, let's put it here. Um, before I, I taste it for you on camera, I feel like at one of those, like Bob Barker or some, someone off of an old game show, says, did a little research. JTS Brown, bottled and bond, comes from the venerable Heaven Hill Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Being that it's bottled and bond, now bottled and bond means it's, it says it on the label, under U.S. government supervision. So probably one of the feds walks through the, the distillery, sees the barrels, and says, okay, I've supervised it. I don't know what it entails, but there we go. Being that it's bottled and bond, we know that it's at least four years old and comes in at a hundred proof, which it says on the label right there. JTS Brown Bottled and Bond is made from, now this is what I was researching, 
it is a 70 per 70 let's try it again 78 percent corn 10 percent rye and 12 percent malted barley mash bill there we go so it's got i don't know why i threw that on the floor so 10 percent of its rye so it's got a bit of a bite on it and this is one of the reasons why I like doing this, these videos, is that, you know, you go into a liquor store, I would have overlooked this if it wasn't for that cool old timey label, and it's a really good satisfying bourbon. I mean, this is stuff that, I mean, it gives, it gives a, to me, this is my opinion, my taste. It gives a $25 bottle it's run, the run for its money. It's run for the money. And it's a really nice bourbon. And, that, and that's the thing is, a lot of times we overlook these bottom shelf, and this is definitely on the bottom shelf of that liquor store. It was next to the very old Barton. Um, the taste of it, it does have that expected bite but there is a mellowness to it that you wouldn't expect out of a bottom shelf uh, bourbon. It's good stuff. So one of these days I'll pick up, I, like I said, I think in Ohio we've got the the 80 proof in the 1.75 liter right. bottle. I'll say at least this um, 100 proof with the old timey label. I want to show that to you again because that to me that is so cool that looks like it's something that you'll find on the frontier um if you see the hundred proof bottled and bond go for it 15 bucks you're not going to lose a whole lot of money and you're going to be really satisfied with that so um and even the back label is just so i mean it's just a plain ba black plain back label i mean you can't get any no, more no frills than that. So, um, again, go for it. I'm going to stop the video before I ramble on more. That's one of my problems, if you haven't noticed already. But, until next time, this is David. Please, I ask, please like the videos, subscribe, tell your friends, put an ad in the newspaper. I don't know. Just get the word out. Um, I need some encouragement. <laughs> I need some reassurance that you like to make videos. So anyway, until next time, it's David. Um, may your next pour be your best pour. And we'll see you soon with the next whiskey review. Alright, talk to you soon. Bye.